it is nice to see you all coming on one by one. Fantastic. I don't think there is anything I can do without you, particularly on this live chat and um, program. You are all wonderful. You are the best. And I will continue to give you due regards all the time because I always note all the names online. No matter what, I go back and I review. You are fantastic. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your support. You are wonderful. You are wonderful. I want to continue to welcome you on board. I want to continue to recognize you as you are coming in one by one. It's a live chat and it's on legal talk. Live right now on my uh, page. Like to come back by you. Welcome you all coming in one by one. You are all beautiful. Men and women, you are fantastic. Great men and women of substance. You are the best. And I want to continue to encourage you. In anything you do, do it better. Do it with conscience. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Hello. Hi. 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 Thank you. I can see you all. And I want to continue to recognize you. I want to continue to appreciate you. I want to continue to say thank you. About last night at Peckham High Street on Ladies Night, it was a fantastic night. It was a night that I want the promoters to continue to promote every year. It was a night that I want to continue to appraise and to continue to encourage all those that were there yesterday, bringing more friends. Continue to introduce that kind of things to them. Next year, the promoter should recognize that he has to do the anniversary of Ladies' Night again. It is a program, it's a topic, and it has to continue. That is the whole idea, encouragement. For us to encourage each other when we are doing things good in the society, in the diaspora. But one thing that really took me by surprise last night, and I said I have to come to you guys and let you know my opinion, because... I want to continue to share my mind. You know, I am very blunt when it comes to telling the truth. Even though people say that, Olo toy in your kisho, yeah, right, yeah. But let me tell you in the end, it pays. Oh man, girl, man, you get profit. Last night was a fantastic one. It was a very good one. And 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 when you know who you are, last night will be the night that you recognize who you are. I don't even know all those that knew me yesterday. I don't know half of them. But as soon as I end, in fact, as soon as I was parking that car of mine at the high street yesterday, the guys who host Peckham immediately they recognized my voice and said to me, Mrs. Olagbaye, lawyer Tokumbo Olagbaye, everybody rolling around me. They, 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 they uh, assisted me to park my car very well. And then they took me in and told me exactly where the equation is taking place. And they followed me in there. About 8 or 10 guys last night at around 12 o'clock, 12 a.m., early morning. I, the, the guys went with me and took me in with my girl that followed me. I want to appraise them. I want to recognize them, even though I don't know them one-to-one. -one. But they know me. They heard my voice. As soon as I said, oh, I can't park me by And they said, oh, Mrs. Olag by they, they, they asked me to, 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 to they direct me where to park and they, they assisted me in the diaspora. And that is the kind of people I want to associate with, no matter who they are. Because yesterday, anything can happen, but they looked after my interest. They take care of me. Where my car was parked, they told me it's safe there because that is where they are. Outside, they are drinking and enjoying themselves. Now, as part of the ongoing issues with the issue of the diaspora problem, women fighting women, I want to encourage you guys that anytime we are having a meeting of internal issues, having can you all hear me? Can, can somebody just respond back if you hear me? Yeah, if you can, if you can follow me on, can you? Because it looks as if the connection is weak, but if you can hear me, please, I would like you to. To show that sign that you can hear me very well, that there is no network issue. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
the internal things that we, were, we went in to discuss or to enjoy yesterday, we don't need foreign national yesterday. So when we talk about issue of wanting to have, to talk about peace, unity among our Nigerian women in the diaspora, we should try as much as possible to keep it internal, to keep it among the Nigerians alone in the diaspora at that particular uh, issue. We do not want to discuss what is going on in the house with, with another foreign nation, another national. This is how we start even, who cannot even clean our shoes. Nigeria, we are not ordinary. And I said it last night. We are one of the most eloquent and one of the educated, most educated national in the world. A country, one of the best in the world. But at the same time, we are so easy to fall foul, to buy cheap news, to buy fake news, to run around, people, to run around fake people who are not even up to us just because they are not black. They are not better off than us. They are better off than us. So we should start acknowledging that. When we were asked to to the people that were called in yesterday, we have so many people around us. Yeah, thank you. The network is bad. Okay, broadcast interrupted. Thank you. Okay. So we should. What I was trying to say is that we should not bring in foreign people when it comes to the issues of Nigeria in the diaspora, as especially the last night one, internal issue. Because yesterday, I see it as an internal issue that we want to calm situation down, we want to encourage women, we want to talk about things that is so important to us in the diaspora. So therefore, we do not need any foreign national to come and speak to us last night. I got in there and I saw a Pakistan origin that somebody brought in. They wanted him to come and talk about peace, unity, and love to we women Nigeria. And it's a man. Who is he to come and talk to us? What does he even understand about our culture, about our nationality, about our religion, about our attitude, about our behavior, about our social norm? He does not even know us. He was brought in to come and talk. Unfortunately, he's going to speak about immigration as well. <laughs> and I, I, I don't mind, I don't mind. But fantastic people around, fantastic MC girls. The MC came to me and said, listen, Mrs. Olagbaye, as soon as we finish prayer, I want you to start your program straight away because the other guy is going to speak the same thing you want to talk about. And I said, that is fine, that's not a problem. So they finished and called me in and called me on to the table to come and talk. I haven't even started five minutes. <laughs> They're giving me warning of that I have seven minutes left in, because of the other guy. I took control straight away. I said, there is no way you can give me seven minutes left because you have not even done anything. The guy has, the guy arrived before me far, 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 but the program was, hasn't started then. He doesn't know us that we don't start, start with our time. We have our own special time in our mind. <laughs> so in the end, he left. There is no way he could stand my speech because he saw me when I started the way I took on the program straight away. So he said to his, his, his carcass and said, listen, I cannot stay around anymore. The lawyer is speaking the, what I wanted to talk about. She's already in charge. She's already in control of it. So she said, he said he has to leave. So the guy left us and went. He couldn't stand the presentation because the presentation was too powerful for a, a non-Nigerian to take to, to take care of. So he has to go. What I want to talk about is that it was last night was to do with women, Nigerian women in the diaspora. It wasn't something to do with uh, another event. In another event occasion, you can invite anybody you want to invite. It doesn't matter. The world is big enough for all of us. To contain all of us but the issue here is that last night was not big enough for, for us enough to contain foreign national into that problem we are trying to solve in the diaspora we want to start knowing each other recognizing each other respect each other take each other as they are because taigo and kind they are not the same they are different even though they were born from the same mother the same womb same time but they hadn't been the same so that was what the purpose of the program last night to encourage peace unity among women in the diaspora and i am grateful to god that i was able to be part and parcel 
of the event. I saw women of substance. I saw them yesterday. The problem I noticed is that Nigerian love party, Nigerian love enjoyment. When they are doing their enjoyment, you cannot disturb them. Even me that I was delivering an important speech last night, I was speaking on top of my voice because they are already in the party mood. I was speaking on top of my voice. So I would encourage promoter to please upload us videos straight away and all the pictures. Let people see us. Promoter should upload pictures and videos to let people see us straight away how we are yesterday, how we look, what we talk about. Let other people benefit even though they are unable to attend. Let them see it. So it is important, it's imperative, imperative that promoter upload those videos. The videos has to come out. The pictures must come to public at large. So you are having my consent now. So don't be afraid that Mr. Nagbaye may not have come and may not be happy. It is only me yesterday. I don't have my sons. I don't have my children. I don't have my husband yet. So I don't care. Upload it. That's my public life. When it comes to my public life, upload it. It's my work. Upload the video. Let people see us and what we have done. Now, going into the real business of the day. The business of the day is so important that we have to talk about it. There's no way we can do without talking about the business of the day. So I want to encourage us straight away so that we know. I gave last night. Let me quickly read it back to you, women out there. My speech of last night. I want the women of substance online to listen to the speech so you can know that you did not miss out yesterday. I have the speech right here after when I presented my. Um, immigration seminars on the current issues. I will still discuss that as well. But this is, this is the speech of last night. My dear woman in the diaspora, today the 10th of February commemorates the first time that Nigerians in the diaspora have organized a great and innovative event of this type since 1960. I greet you in the name of God and proudly join you all as part of the Nigerian women in the diaspora. Today is a good day to examine and contemplate who we are how we got here, and what we have. It gives us the opportunity to remind us of our heritage and our role as mothers, wives, and partners. Above all, as women, we must always remember to honor the legacy of freedom and the sacrifices our ancestors, such as Madame Tinubu, have made for us. On this day, 10th of February 2017, I ask you to make this day a refreshing day. A day of hope and a day of thanksgiving to ensure that Nigerian women in the diaspora are one, have respect for each other, and tolerate one another. It is also important that we must have aspirations for success and think of a better future for our children. Over the past few months, the echoes of Yoruba women abusing each other on Facebook has cast doubt on Nigerian credibility in the diaspora. That doesn't mean that an amendment cannot be made to that effect. The only way forward is to put the past behind us and pick it up as new from today henceforth. We have served this day as a national day for Nigerian women in the diaspora to celebrate each other in unity and demonstrate gratitude and respect for those who contribute continuously to serve for the betterment of our nation. Today is a day to be thankful and to be inspired that Nigerian women can have unity. For we believe we are the mother and we gave birth to man. So we should at all times show good examples in all dealings. I express my deepest gratitude to all those who to all those working hard 
to organize this event today. And I hope that all women will continue to observe today's event as a blissful one. I wish you a safe journey back to your various home. God bless Nigeria. That was the speech I gave yesterday. The whole idea of that speech is to encourage women in the diaspora to sit tight, to work hard. Because you will note that unless you are a broom, a bunch of broom, which, is, which my parents will say, oh, shushu, oh, what? Be together in bunch. Progress can never be made. Because when you are in the diaspora, those who are in Nigeria, they think you have money. Both rich, poor, everyone wants to reap from you. They want to take your money because they think you are taking money from three. So it is important that we have trust in each other in the diaspora. We respect each other. It is us that are in the diaspora can, can allocate to assist our time, to allocate our time to assist others that needed our help. When it comes to when you are going to Nigeria, you want to get a land, you want to get property, you want to do something. You have to use somebody that you have already trusted, that you are both living in the diaspora, to be your guide, to be your eyes, to, to that you can trust. Because if you just jump into it and go and trust somebody over there, you will fall foul. Because there I believe is that we are idiots. We think we can stay in the diaspora, in, the, in, in overseas, sending them to do something for us. So the money will not go to the direct place. It will not go to, the, to its cause. So we have to be smart and be one first. It is when we are one and we take care of each other's needs and be each other's uh, watchdog, brothers keepers, then that is when we can fight outsider. That is when we can do things successfully. So that is the way to encourage everybody, focus on what you are doing and let us continue to embrace each other. You can do what you like as long as you are not abusive and you are not breaching and stepping on the law. Continue with your job and focus. That is all that speech is all about. So I have encouraged the promoters last night to mark yesterday 10th of February as a day that they will continue to do ladies night. Because it was a good idea. And I like to encourage ideas. That's the purpose of it. When I say God bless Nigeria, I mean what I said. You know, because I am trying to work on human, not on the, on the block or the bricks or the government. No, I am working on the humans, trying to encourage humanity, trying to embrace individual. That is why I say God bless Nigeria. You know, but you, have all, you must always remember, I am a British citizen first by birth. But I grew up in Nigeria, so that is why I want to encourage people from Nigeria to do better, to focus, and not lose sight. But God save that queen. Thank you. Now the program today is that there are different changes in the issues of immigration law. And if you are not aware of the issues that are now facing the children, the people with children of seven years and more, there is going to be a lot of problems. Applications are being refused carelessly. Because the caseworkers have failed to understand the efficacy of law, the importance of law behind the rationale of introducing that seven years policy in the first instance, not all caseworkers are equipped to understand the rationale behind the seven year uh, rules. You see, the, gone are the days when seven years used to be an automatic grant of status for parents and that child. But it's not an automatic grant of status anymore. Things have changed immensely to the extent that we have to be abreast of the law. We need to understand exactly the current situation before we can now say a successful application will be made. Despite the draconian rules that have been introduced for the majority of family law life cases, the first year tribunal judges, they are trying their best to intervene with their judicial powers through case laws. So don't worry, if you are refused by the Home Office, bring all your appeals to my desk. If you are struggling and your cases are re refused, 
bring them. If your case is refused, bring them to my desk. We wine and dine inside law. On a high scale of it, we are on the abreast of it, on the cases that are coming out every day, every day. And I pay good money to go on training. Because when you are a lawyer, you have to train all the time to be abreast of the changes. If you are not trained, then you get stuck. The law is saying categorically at the moment on the issue of parents and children in the UK. The starting point is crucial now on child that have that does that the mother is not British and the father is not settled either. The starting point of that child's life is what the law is now looking into to scrutinize carefully. And if you are using a representative that is not on a high level on dealing with complexity matters, your case is just going to be thrown at the back of the door. It's just going to be abandoned and nothing will come out of it. There is a case law that says the best interest of child is paramount. The case law, that's the, that particular case law is saying the best interest of child is paramount, which is important, is of significance. So in that regard, that case law went on. To pieces, you know, it went on to pieces the fact of the matter and the law that is that, that the law that is applicable at that time. Now the Secretary of State may introduce seven-year policy and uh, seven-year rules continuing residence in the UK, and people will jump at it. But something has already incited indirectly, and it says unreasonableness. So that is very important to pay. To affect bail with wallet at any time. The crucial part of it is that you need to make sure that. You are ready. You met one of the rules. Because to you, but meet any of the immigration rules, told you, baby, wale, you'll be refused. And you will continue to waste money. Of what use? What do you gain from it if you continue to waste money unnecessarily? To permit your rules. Can you understand? Of what use? That you will continue to waste money and you did not meet the rules. So the whole idea that I am trying to do, the reason for the program all the time here, yeah, is to make sure that you are not fought foul. I'm going to be taking calls anytime, anytime you are ready on 07908 628240. That is how people can benefit from the advice I will be giving. 07908 Six two eight two four zero. I want to share something with you that happened yesterday. These two clients of mine came for the first time to see me yesterday, all the way from northeast of England. I don't want to mention area for for data protection again reason. When you come to your lawyer, you will know what the rules are. So this child. Uh, this um sorry this uh, this two uh, chap they instructed the legal representative down near them in the uh, east uh, northeast there in the first instance that legal representative a uh, person is not a profit organization it's a charity organization which means it's not supposed to collect money from those guys it took well over 4,600. One could be application of one wallet. One could be application of wallet. Secondly, secondly, what about the money is far too much. 
You understand? The money is far too much. Oh, what about the one is too much? Collected 4,600 from two of them. Collected application fee of 811 pound each. The application he did not submit to the home office. The money he did not return back to those clients. The legal fee that is not supposed to charge. It's a charity organization and has declared to the authority that he will not charge money from the people that he will be seeing and giving advice to. He charged. But I know that that person will sooner, in fact, not later, he will soon be caught by the authority. Yesterday, I took his details. I was going to make a, a strong representation to him, ask him to return money back. But unfortunately, I saw it as something that I have promised my my destiny you pay me never in my life but uh, they let me share me because mobile collector and you think i come back share the money to more like by you just send the strong letter so i decided not to do that letter after client left i'll be advising my client confidently confident in confidence you know that they should let the authority take control of the issue hello And to my first or of there is no time for somebody to call my line and not talking. I'm on 07908-628240. 07908-628240. It's right on top of that chat before I started. I put the number there. 07908-628240. Yeah, so you can get you can get your question. I ask your question from that line. You know, that's the most important thing. Hello. Hello. A castle. Oh, a castle. Yeah, go on, go on quickly, go on quickly. Okay. 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 So the next one should the next one should be indefinite leave to remain. Indefinite leave. For how many years, ma? Indefinite leave to remain, ma. Indefinite is indefinite. Indefinite means lie, lie, forever. Okay, eh? Okay, yeah. Thank you. Okay, yeah. Bye. So we are all now. We are all now. And you have any issue concerning your immigration matter, this is an arena for you to call straight away on 07908 628 240. 07908. Hello. 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 I can hear you very well. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, everyone that is going for um, what is it called? Anyone that is going for indefinite leave to remain has to go through life in the UK test and do the um, English test. Yeah, will I share all depending? Yeah. Two thousand and fourteen. Mm, the, pro the problem, the law change on immigrant on uh, English test. You know. Uh, 
Yeah, but once you change the department to change English test in F1 instance, so I don't know whether they will take it or not. Okay, yeah, yeah. Mm. But once you change, want to change the department, want to change, want to be contract and cool or what? to what they Yes. Uh, Sherry, the, the, they said diff, the, the one thing you have to understand is that if you are coming for consultation, it's a different fee. If you are coming for me to if you are coming for me to sit down and check the whole paperwork together with you, the di the difference is that they call me print it out to me the call me call. But if I'm going to look at it one to one and say ele yo sibe ele wa be ele yo sibe ele wa be, there is a different fee that I will charge. But anytime you will want me to do that kind of job, book appointment with my secretary and come and see me. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hi, I can hear you very well. Like Barolo. Okay, ma. I push you. Oh, Okay, carry on. Yes, ma'am. Money, I'm a I'm a baby. No, you need a girlfriend. Sure, I'm a baby. Okay, all right, carry on. Okay. 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 Uh, so my wallet. I was eight one year nine months. UK. Uh, so, so, so till the seven years continuously. Exactly. So you have to wait. Yeah. All right, there, bye. Hello. Hello. Yeah, can you hear me? I am. I am indeed. Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, carry on, carry on. Okay. Mm. One can one indefinite indefinitely to enter, which is the Eh, wale, No, they they came they came in with who? They came in with who? With the with the mother, with the father. And are, are they still living with their father? Yeah, we, we are all together. Okay, so how many years ago is this? Our last year, the last year, 2015. Last year, 2015? They have to be in the same household with their parents for three years before they can do their plan and definitely leave to remain. So, Baba, one in the UK, all exercise treaty rights. Exactly. But one more one day. One day, one day, definitely, Lati outside was straight away. Why you pay Baba one day, Irish? Every child that comes in through European national. Eh? Kill us. Can you, can, can, you, can you find time to book appointment and come to the office? Okay, 
Uh, please come find time because I don't want to give wrong advice on the public glare. Okay, now. Yeah. And I, I, I don't want to give her a wrong advice. So if I want to buy an Irish passport, why the Irish passport go to blue and white? The situation should be different. So okay. when you, when you have time, if you need my advice genuinely. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. okay? Thank you. All right, yeah, bye. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, my cousin. Yeah. Like by our life, me. Okay. Uh, uh, seven years. Oh, I shall seven years, Abby. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if if you have if you had any contact with the home office in the past, I think you should put in an application under that seven year old child now. But if you have not had contact, don't put it in now. She drew Jesse. Ben, 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 Musa, I be well straight away. I have to finish up with my hotel. Then tell me about the person who is be well the care care. Yeah. Okay, all right, thank you. Yeah, bye. Yes, and this person needs to wait. I want to answer a question online as well, please. So if, if I pick up your call, you have to hang in there for me for a while. There is a question here that says, please, Mark, can a child brought to UK at the age of three years now, 14 years be naturalized in UK? Though the parents were in two and a half years renewable, renewable what? Renewable. So, are you saying that the child wasn't born in the UK? The child came to UK at the age when he or she was three years old. The child has now spent 11 years continuously. The child's status remains under his or her parents. That child cannot naturalize in the UK because he was not born in the UK. That child was brought to the United Kingdom soil, which means that the child will carry his or her parents' status. If any of the parents has British citizenship, then your answer will be yes. But if none of them has it, and they both have two and a half years renewable, that child status is confirmed to that of the parent one as well. I hope my answer is what you are expecting. A child that brought to UK at the age of three years, now 14 years, cannot automatically naturalize because it wasn't born on the soil. He, has to, he or she has to rely on his or her parents' status. So you will continue to renew until when they, got, when they both have the two and a half years for four times, which is ten years, they will now go for their indefinite leave to remain together at the same time. And that's this way the law is at the moment. Thank you. Hello? 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 Yeah. Can you hear me? I'm live now. Tomato, I'm shaking it. Tomato, I'm living for 10 years, man. Consume a toilet, she'll let my question students in it. Consume a toilet, she, unless it is a student. Well, I grow is on the risk now, so 50 50 chance. Uh -huh. Okay, man. Yeah? Uh, man, in office, man. Okay, all right. Bye. Thank you, bye. bye. Hello? 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 Hello, can you hear me? Yeah. Hello, ma. Yeah. Hello, ma. Hello, ma. Hello, ma. Hello, Lag bar alone. Thank you, thank you. Can you can you question me? Okay.
you have to make application for access right and show that you are maintaining your child but you will need more advice than that so you have to see me in the office yeah it's only 50 pound yeah you're most welcome thank you bye, bye. hello can you hear me yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 What is about five years? Let me give. Okay. Eh, everybody, what fellow of you definitely leave to remain? Yeah? Okay. It is important that they know that they have to go through English test. Yeah, without that one, they share anything. Yeah. Thank you very much, You're most welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Hello? Hello, ma. Yeah. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, ma. Okay. I can't know. Yes, ma. Okay. So, more than family of five, ma. More than last year, we knew this thing. But if one of them is um in after the barrier, you three four months, we must wait. So, more we are to do more more year full glory application, ma. Yeah, to them I reduce the cost, why not? Yeah, to them I pay 10 years very soon. To them I reduce the cost in Of course you can do that. There is no problem in that. Okay, ma. Tiba, you know, to pay 10 years. But because of course, no, ma. Yeah, to my pay 10 years. Three months after the barrier. The first one, yeah. Then, ma. Eh, so I'll give you a quote, that's fine. I will let you find your kid and your kid. It's a good thing. 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 So you have to think about that. It's a good thing. 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 Talent for your program, no? It's a little bit of 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 Then you can't take you can't take them off now, so you have to go and find money and renew with them, madam. And you have to pay you speed up application you do. So I think you should leave her or him. Yeah. Thank you.
Now the question there is that if a child is born in UK and it's now 10 years by law, would it be given naturalization? It's natural registration. Every child that is under 18 will naturalize. Yes, you will naturalize that you will register that child first and then get certificate, British passport, and make a petition under your child. Yes. Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, what's the question? Yeah. I want to ask a question. Okay. I call a baby and the father has a British passport. Yeah. And we put in for the application and um, it takes a long before they um, answered us. Mm. Then later and um, they send me a letter to send some pictures or a um, child benefit and everything. I send it to them and after that you have a child that is born to a British father yeah. and you made an application under that, that child yeah. you I make an application I want to get a British father for the dog for the baby for the baby yeah, yeah. Well, let me tell you one thing, not in secret. Yeah. <laughs> every application, every most baby's application now for British passport will be scrutinized. So, <laughs> call me after this program. I'll, I'll, at, the, at the same time on this number, just call me. Just one minute, I'll just answer your question straight away. Okay. I want to trade carefully on my program. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. Thank you very much. Okay, bye. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I can't know. I don't know, I don't know. What type of leave to remain? You have to make it clear. What if I pay the old idea and pay you on your application? You probably told them you are a single parent. Yes. And that person is not the father of that child. He's not assisting They're not going to give you. I've got a series of uh, people asking questions in that respect. If it's the only way to... Nah, they're not going to... Unless I pay, both of you are married. Even if you are married, the application is for single parents. So parental responsibility. Even the original father is finding it difficult. You know, I know what we have to go through to make sure that we, we connect, we, we, we make application for father under a child that has limited leave to remain. So it's, it's not that straightforward. Yeah? Yes. I want to find time to answer some of the questions online at the same time so that we, uh, they will not be cut out as well. 
Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm, thank you. The question says, if you have overstayed your visa and you have indefinite leave to remain, how many years can you wait for British passport? It depends on when you put in an application for that, for your first application that was successful. A bit logical. That depends on when you submitted your first application to the government, to the Home Office, and you were granted. And if you have indefinite leave to remain straight away, it depends on when it was submitted. When it was submitted, 10 years from then on, you get your naturalization. If there's any criminal record. And if it meets all the good character requirements. Good afternoon, ma'am. Please, can you help clarify those that need to, to do life in the UK? Because there are some exemptions online. For example, people who are granted the leave for three years do, do not need life in the UK test to apply. Life in the UK test to apply. Who told you that? And if you know that, you don't have to ask questions. If you know that those who have, uh, who have been granted three years uh, leave of three years do not need life in the UK test, you don't have to do it. Once you get the answer, you don't have to do it. And then you show it to the home office that they said it. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Hello, Hello Mumba. Go on. Uh, money, uh, 2011. What for me? Three years. Mm -hmm. Based on the whole money. So, if that's mm -hmm. one for me, three years, yeah. Mm -hmm. Three more money immigration issues, one for me, so you have to be more meeting on the left. So, that will be more familiar. So, if that will be more immigration officer, I'm going to suffer with you. For a commissary, pass up ticket to pick it up the way. So, one familiar at the end, at the, at the long run. So, we shall have three years. So, the most new another three years. So, in that, you only differ any part of my free new second one. So, one appearing simply to mark the finish to mark through the ten years. No, yeah, be. Let's get this right. You have your indefinite leave when? Uh, you have two years, three years, yeah, two, uh, three years twice. Three years, so don't make you I don't know, the second one, I'll finish. What is your question? Because you have to apply for your, you have to apply for your indefinite leave straight away. Okay, so straight in the so she will need to marry something to six months, but you will need it. Are you not under your wife anymore? No, I'm not. You, you have to submit it. Don't submit your indefinite leave to remain application carelessly. They will refuse you if you don't take proper advice. Okay. Because I have three or four people to lose from around. I want to want to bang on down on this thing. Okay. So you have to be careful with it. Come on, come on, Bella, Tiberi. Right, no problem. All right, man. I should go on. Yeah, bye. I won't take call now. I want to answer question on online a bit. Hold on that person. In response to that question on the delay at the tribunal, the answer is that you have to continue wait. You know, you have to continue to wait. You have to continue to wait until then. You have to continue to wait until they give you an an hearing date. There is nothing you and I can do. I have eighteen months waiting. It is it is a it is a national problem at the moment. Because the problem from the Home Office will definitely always affect tribunal. When Home Office just think that they can just come to the office and sit down without scrutinizing paper and grants 
status that the application that meets the rules. It is obvious that people will continue to experience that kind of headache. So there is nothing you can do about the delay. Can a five-year-old child born in the UK apply for indefinite? Of course not. A child that's born in the UK five years with uh, non settled parents cannot be a citizen. But if one of the parents, you must always listen it when I say until when I say if. Unless if one of the parents has a settled status, that is when the child can register. <laughs> this person said, can, can you address my issue? I'm online now. <laughs> you trouble mind on the immigration status. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's see how that person else because he will not leave me alone. Hello. 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 Yeah. Can you hear me? I want to. I want to put my music down for you a bit. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Yeah, I want to ask question. If someone has a child. If you have a British child yeah. and you want to do what? Put in an application. Under that child? No, put in an application to room office. Yeah, because you have a British child. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. Okay, now. Yeah. I will call you after. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Oh, um, please, I'd like to ask um, a question, please. Okay, go on then. Okay. Hello? Yeah. Okay. I was just going to ask, is it, um, um, because I, I've, I've done life in the UK test in 2012, right? So, um, is this too bad if I, if I need it now, this year, to apply for my indefinite leave? Or do I need to do another one? Another life in the UK? Test? It actually depends on uh, on home office. But when did you do your English test last? Yeah, that was in 2012. Okay. 2012. Yeah. I'm afraid that probably will have been out of date, isn't it? Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah. that means I might need to, I will do, I will need to do another one. Yeah. You have to. If it's life in the UK test, life in the UK test does not go off. Okay. Yes, La it's life in the UK test. No, you don't have to do another one. No, I beg your pardon. Okay. You don't have to do another life in the UK. If it's English test, yes, you have to do another one. Sorry, because I'm okay. trying to respond to online writing up as well. Okay? Yeah? Okay. So you don't have to do another life in the UK test. You have to leave it as it is and submit it with your application when you are ready. Okay, okay. It doesn't go off. Okay, okay, because I just want to continue almost close to five years. I'm to five years. Nah, it doesn't, it doesn't go off. It doesn't go off. Okay, okay. Mm. Then, oh, thank you so very much. I'm really very grateful. Keep up the good work. God bless you. Really thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
We're still on the same matter, how to regularize your status is the topic for Tokumbo Lagbaye page, how to regularize your status. So if anyone wants to search about me, go on Facebook and search how to regularize your status. Anything concerning immigration in the UK, just search how to regularize your status. That is my, um, my, my topic ever since I have commenced this, um, um, what is it called, media work, how to regularize your status. So if you listen to me on radio program as well, it's how to regularize your status all the time. I can hear you. I'm addressing public at the moment. Yeah. I can hear you. Hello. I can hear you. You are calling from Nigeria, isn't it? Good afternoon, Good afternoon. Hello, Thank you very much. Right. Yeah, but we'll be in your car now. Is the child must definitely be living with someone, so you have to be careful. Oh my brother, why do you can continuously? I want to know another brother new way we do. They have to explain themselves to be a lot more to reach out trafficking. They have to show how long they have been taking care of that child, and they have to they also have to show how they have been taking care of that child. They have to explain the whereabouts of the child's parents. You know, you cannot just have somebody. That, If the child, if they know that the child is in Nigeria, they will tell the child to go and meet you there. I have seen two scenarios recently. So you might be, you might, you may, you may need to advise the guardian to come and see me for advice. Okay. You you need to advise the guardian of that child to come and see me for advice in the office. Yeah. And responding to calls from Nigeria is a bit hectic because you have you'll be speaking on top of your voice. If a child is born in the UK, well, good afternoon to that person. <laughs> good afternoon, good afternoon. <sighs> If a child is born in Ireland and he hasn't got Irish passport, he will be treated like a child that comes from non-European countries. I'm afraid so because he does not confirm him as, a, as an Irish citizen. So that is my response to the question there. If a child is born in Ireland, you understand? Yeah? If a, chi if a child is born in Ireland and he has spent seven years in England, can I use them to get my papers? You will have to make an application like any other child, you know, and if that child is born in Ireland, as the ch okay, the child has spent seven years. Of course, you can make application under your child, but the child is not Irish citizen because he hasn't got Irish passport. So you'll be treated like any other child that comes from non-European country without settled status. So you have to bear that in mind. That is my advice. That is my advice in that area. If I have a child born in Ireland, so that's that's the answer. <laughs> Lawyer has to be beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you, madam. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Lawyer has to be well presented so that your clients can admire you and uh, and respect you. So we must all, always beauty is from God. So it's not something you can buy. <laughs> 
And thanks to the parent that has that beauty. It's not for me, it's for my parents. <laughs> I took it on. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that, Ma. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. Beauty is in the house. So it's an inheritance thing. I inherit it. <laughs> <laughs> and how long are they gonna this person is saying that how can I know that I lose my appeal? How long are they gonna decide on the claim claim for? Let me tell you gist of it. If that app if that thing has been staying long for a year, you can apply for right to work. But if it's not up to a year, you cannot apply, you can you just have to continue to wait for them. You have to continue to wait for them. Hello? Yeah, hi. Good afternoon. Go on. Um, yes, uh, I've been um, half three years, um, two times for um, living children. Okay. And now um, uh, I have uh, indefinitely to remain. You have indefinitely to remain. Yes. And yeah. my wife has uh, two children at home. Okay. So we, so we just have it. So in September. So how can we bring the relationship? I didn't get your question clearly. I'm sorry. I didn't get so, it clearly. I have, I have two them three years for uh, this company leave to remain. You get me? You have two, three years um, status. They gave you twice. Yes. Discretionary yes. leave twice. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. So now I have uh, indefinite leave to remain. Okay. Uh, I have uh, indefinite leave to remain. Okay. So now we got two children at home. Yeah. So it's my wife who got two children at home anyway. So she wants to bring uh, the children here. You want to bring them from, from overseas? Yeah. Why don't the you? Is, yeah, the time we got that three years, we, 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 we cannot bring them because we have a definite now. Yeah, so you've no. got your you've got your indefinite leave to remain now. Yes, yes. Of course you can. And both uh, both of you are you in England? Both parents? Yes, yes. Of course you can. Of course you can. You no, need me. Just, uh, no, no at home is for my wife. You said what? No children at home. They are for my wife. Yeah, but you both married together now. Yes, yes. Yes, of course you can bring them in. Yeah, the problem is so one of the children want to have uh, One of the I heard, I, I heard you last time you say that uh, well, we're supposed to uh, prove uh, a lot of things and uh, she don't have uh, all of those proof. But what she got is uh, that we got on one of them. Why, why don't you book appointment and come and see me? You have a long question, long issues to deal with, to get advice, proper advice. You see, for being on the phone here, you will not get a tailored made for your case advice. Everything is just quick and short, just to reassure people of their status, of their application, of their things. That's the whole idea. But in a long one, for your, for your, for the type of question you are asking, I am afraid you will need advice thoroughly. You know. Yeah, I, I just want to have a walk because I can't get all of them. I'm, I'm not, you know, you know, I can't get all the things you are saying together at the same time. You've told me now that you, you and your wife have three years discretionary leave to remain. Can you bring the child in? Yes, of course you can. A child that's going to be 18 is going to be very difficult now. If the child is close to be 18, that's going to be difficult to get that child in. You understand? So that's just my response. Yeah, but if you need further advice, please book appointment in the office. I'll put the phone number on now, please. Yeah, thank you. The question is, can someone claim asylum after nine years in the United Kingdom? It's on the 50-50, depending if you have a solid reason to claim asylum at the last minute. It depends if you have a solid reason to claim asylum. If you don't have, 
then you, your case is not going to go far and they will remove you. So you have to be careful. Yeah, you have to be careful. Hello? Yeah, of course you can. Roll key. And uh, I think please, if a child is born in the UK by European parents, can the child apply for British passport and parents living in the UK? Thanks, man. Yes. The answer is yes. Yes. Yeah, your answer is yes. I don't want to pin your question, so yes. If a child is born in the UK by European parents, can that child apply for British passport and parents living in the UK? Of course you can. As long as parents have lived here for five years and they have status, yeah, they have a European passport, so yeah, you can apply. It's not a problem. Hello? 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 Yeah, can you hear me? All right, go on. Okay. Thank you, sir. We've lowered the music, sir. Thank you. Ca carry on. Um, the guy has a resident permit with a uh, uh, British citizen through the chapter of a child. Uh, I want to ask a question. Is he going to get the 20 of your four times? If, 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 say, say, the, say the question back again. Say, say it again. Uh, I, wanna, I say I want to ask uh, Yeah. if Baby mother, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, if they give him two and a half years, yeah. You take, they will give him four times before. That's correct. Um, That's correct, yeah. yeah. Two and a half years, but, four times, ten years. If they give him two and a half years for the fourth time, and you get to bed, you marry a British uh, citizen, that's a bit more. It won't change the status because he has already overstayed before he got married. Once, it's once it's you are. Of, say that again. Process, yeah. Process yeah. Even though you get, you get married to the British citizen. If you have overstayed your visa, it comes under EX1 rules, which means okay. that which means that everyone that overstays come under 10 years parents rule, rule or partner rule. Or the, those okay. ones that go that will go through five years are the ones that have status at the time of application. Say for example, okay. if a student married to a British citizen, okay. that student will go under five years rule. That student yeah. will. That student will not have to go through the system of they must have a child. Okay. But that student will go through the income threshold of 18,600 requirements. Even, oh, okay. even though he's in the country, but he has visa. So you'll be treated as if he's coming from, from, uh, from outside. Okay. So it's different. Uh, thank you. You're most welcome. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> the question is if you have waited for one year to get an appeal date, can you request for right to work from home office? No, unless you have right to work before your application was submitted to the home office if you have right to work before it was submitted then that is fine but if you have overstayed your visa before you submit it and it was refused and they gave you right of appeal because of human rights claim you will not be able to apply for right to work that's the point Yeah, go ahead. The tuberculosis test is going to be expired on 18th of February. An application is going in on the 13th of February. Can I go ahead? Of course, you can go ahead quickly. Quick. That must be an entry clearance case. That is not within the country. That is outside. You need to submit quickly. Quick. You got five days to hit it. So you need to submit the application fast. Of course you can. But why do you have to hold it to the last minute? 
There is no time limit to decide, to decide on an asylum case. It's just like application now that is experiencing backlog. So that's the case. That's the issue. Hello? Yeah. Okay, go on. Okay. So, so, kilo wa shoko wa shoko wa shoko wa shoko wa shoko wa So what do you move one? But one serve one lost in prison. prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was, that was on. So that, that is deportation, it's not removal, it's deportation. Okay. Mm. That is deportation. It's what? It has to be after three years for family life application. It's not going to be immediate effect. So, what do I see? No, I will not be Forget it, please. Three years cool enough period. I'll call a lawyer now. If if at all they will allow him back in straight away, he has to be after three years. Yeah. Bye. And this person is saying that I just came back from United Arab Emirates. I'm in Nigeria now. I still have valid residence permit of United Arab Emirates. And I would like to travel to UK or, or United States. What can I do? UAE is not part of the US edict. Anyway, the law has cleared on that. The Supreme Court has got himself involved in the issue of the United States. So if he meets all the requirements for the United States, why not? You can apply. And if he also meets the requirement to come to UK, Excuse me, why not? You can apply at any time. So there is no cost for allowing that. If you meet the requirement, you have you can apply. Because you have to make application from Nigeria, not from UAE. So yes, you can you can apply anytime. Yeah, you can apply, so that's fine, that's not a problem. <laughs> Who is this? Let me read you a bit. Because I love fashion as well, so let me read you. I love your style and collection of music. Love you, my God bless you. I love you too. I'm trying to just make everything blend. Because I love fashion and I love music. But when I love music, I love old school. You know? So I'm trying to unite with my old school. I love fashion and I love old school music. So I'm trying to remind all of us that are in the same category of old school music. To remind us that we should be listening to our, our old guys. Don't just ignore them because all these UPs are now around. <laughs> you know, hold on this caller. Let's let's make people online enjoy this. Don't let them just be boring like, like that all the time. Yeah, thank you. The question is if if someone spent ten years in UK and after three years I have a medical condition of and have medical condition of hearing loss, can the person claim asylum? And I have three children, 10 years in the UK, hearing loss. How can you make asylum on hearing loss? That's not going to succeed. Either. That is not going to succeed. Claiming asylum because of hearing loss will not succeed on this planet unless you have any other way around it. <laughs> that's, that's just it. It won't succeed. So I won't bother myself. You have children, three children, you want to claim asylum. <laughs> Who is this? Can 
can somebody with two and a half years be maybe invite someone to UK with limited leave? If you look at the status, the condition letter that you got, you got a letter that says conditions. You have to go and read that letter. The letter that you that came with your status from the home office will tell you the conditions. Whether you can apply for someone to, to come to UK to see you. But I know from experience that you cannot, family member cannot join you under that status because they're saying that it's a limited status. So no one can join you on it now. No one can join you on that application now. Amen. Good talk show, ma. May God continue to bless and strengthen you and yours, ma. Amen. Thank you for your prayer. God will continue to be with you as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. I don't understand. Can you do my calls? Where is your call? You, I don't I don't have any preference call. So when they when I pick up call, I just pick it at random. I haven't got preference at all. My whole idea is to make sure that I assist everyone here. So there's no preference. You know, there's no preference. Hello. Hello there. Yeah, um uh, I, 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 Go on then. Yeah, um, um, oh no, oh no, sir. Okay. 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 How old is the child? The fair apply alone. Nine years old. Right, okay. Nine years, yeah. Shall by shall by let me see? Hey, shall we go to the bank? Since that is the road, the time is here. Just hold on. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Bye. Yeah, hello there, hi. I'm fine, good afternoon, Good afternoon. Yeah, I, have a, I have a quick question. Um, I, I don't have a title, but it's been refused. But well, I have a son who will be born in this year. I just want to find out if I have to wait for him till he's settled before I make another application. Okay. Hello? Yeah. You have a child that is how old? Okay. Yes, so well, I want to know if I should wait till he's seven years before I make another application because right now I don't have anything in the home office here. And the child is not seven in the country. No, he's still he's just four now. So why do you have to make application in the first instance when you know only that you have not met any of the immigration rules? I made an application for asylum before that was refused. So I'm just like that now. Why why are people making us application for asylum? Why do you make application for asylum? It's wrong that why you know. I can tell straight away that it's a negligent oneself as well. Because the advice shouldn't have been given in the first instance. Asylum is for those who are coming from port of entry and that are facing a persecution from their country that the authority failed to assist them. Asylum is not just for everyone and there is nothing majorly happening in Nigeria to have warrant the application for asylum while you are already in the United Kingdom. So it's a wrong advice. Okay. Yeah? Don't put in any other application. I hope you are not in their accommodation. I am. So you are, you are in their front. You are just in their nets. You have to be careful. Because I was told last week or so that they, they, they removed some people that claimed asylum without them knowing. They just packed them. And told them to come for an interview. So you have to be really, really careful. What are you doing? Okay, ma. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think I would like to bring this um, program to an end now, and I will answer all questions on uh, online, but I will not take phone calls anymore. So if you have any question now, 
If you have questions now, you have to send it online. I'm not taking phone call anymore because there is an immediate issue that is going on, so the phone call will be disturbing, you know. Um, send your message online now, and I'll be typing and responding back straight away, but I'm not taking phone calls anymore. I will not take phone call anymore because so I don't want to uh, phone call to disturb the next thing that is happening here right, right here now. You know, yeah, I don't want phone call to disturb. So I will not take phone call now any longer. Yeah? So you can now start typing your questions and I'm still online and I will answer you back. I'm not going to leave you anyhow. I will answer all your questions before I leave. But you have to be typing them now. Okay? It says, kindly advise our Nigerian they should stop pulling and breaking every wall to force entry to UK for either students or business visa and refuse to return and thinking UK is a land of milk and honey. Okay. <laughs> That's a serious one. Uh, I, I, I don't have that power to advise on that. That is down to the entry clearance officers overseas, you know, to, to decide on the application before them. I wouldn't necessarily want to get involved as a legal practitioner in the United Kingdom to say that to the authority or to the people that want to come in. It's a free world. If they meet all the requirements, there is no any reason for them not to come to the UK. If they meet the requirements, there is no any reason for them not to come. So I'm still online. Saying? You have any question? I can still hear you, is, and I'm ready to answer uh, to type them back. Here, right? But I won't take phone yeah, calls anymore. Kind of and so you can book appointments to my office on 0208 309 on Monday to See, Friday. And um, I will take so um, consultation. It's fifty pound. Okay. Let's say yeah, consultation is fifty pound. Right? I will not advise uh, the other way around. It's, five and 11, right? it's a free it's word, a and if they meet requirements yeah. to come to UK, so that shouldn't be a problem. Videos. Let's look at another question online here. Divide it here. into strip, and you add them all up. You know? This question says, use trapezium rule with three strips, yeah. each of which is two width long. So. What is the assurance that UK will not change the year of children naturalization? That is difficult. I cannot assure you because when I was born, it was automatic right to citizenship at that time. So right. God save me. I was not part of those that have to wait some years yeah, before they right. had their citizenship. So they those that call the call citizen by the soil. And after our industry. own set in the 60s, 70s, I mean, it changed again in the late 80s. Yeah. So which means you know, to five years. Seven. So their parents have to, children have to wait for five years. Be, uh, and then Mrs. Six. Tasha in the end changed it from so five years to uh, ten years. One, everything two, is about Mrs. Tasha. Three. Mrs. Tasha changed everything. Six. So I pray yeah. that the UK government will not have another Mrs. Now, Tasha in their parliament. Because the another Mrs. Will Tasha will ruin this country. Is. Another Mrs. Tasha style will definitely ruin the whole immigration issue in this country. Yeah. Already it's in a mess. So we need people that can easily understand human rights to get involved carefully. But another Mrs. Tasha, like I said, we destroyed immigration rules in the UK. Because it was the, she was the one that changed the citizenship automatic right from birth, from birth to five years, and then from five years to ten years. And if you were in the countries in the 90s, she was the one that introduced poll tax unnecessarily. So, I will not pray for another the one. Thing, the question yeah, here is that, can someone with a child that has been living in the UK for over 10 so years apply naturalization? Much. That child can apply for registration because the we child was born in the UK. If the child was born in the UK please. and the child lived in the UK that. continuously for you 10 years, you can register that I child. Know. Every child that is under 18 okay. is registration. Seven. 18 and above is naturalization. Yes. For example, this is the equation. Why? My office is in Woolwich. Please, my where is your office? Right. My office is located on the 14th so to 16th of Power Street in Woolwich. X is 
just opposite Halifax Park. Five. That's where my office is located. Eight yeah. over five. Just opposite Halifax Park. So that would be Y. Um, what else do you want to know? X is. Let's look at the other question seven. here. Y is eight over seven. That's my child is born in the UK. First year refused and now have two weeks to apply to a part tribunal. Nine. The child is X 10 in is June. They refuse based on being reasonable nine. to return with parents. Do we? Do we continue with five. upper tribunal or just wait to apply for British citizens in five. June? Continue with upper tribunal to waste time. Since you have already started it, my advice five. is that Three continue with upper two. tribunal to Eight. waste time oh, so that you can five. still show you have something inside. June is just only four months yeah. away. So I would advise Three. you to Three. continue Three. with Three. upper tribunal Three. and then apply for registration for that child Why? in Three. June Three. after Three. a day after Three. 10th birthday. Three. You will apply for the child. This is your you understand? This is the and then, right? after then, then you, use this you can then make an application under that child. But bear it in mind, both parents are not encouraged. I have something to quote here from the authority itself directly. With the meeting I had with them recent, uh, two days ago. I have something to quote here. Both parents are not allowed. So you have to be wary of that. So if you think an application can go in with both parents, you're going to be wasting money. Both parents cannot apply under their child. To sum of middle height, you know, the last. It is now difficult now. It's like a kingdom of God that is so difficult to enter. That's the way the application is now. All the immigration applications are now difficult. So you need you need you need someone of my caliber, mm -hmm. someone in my own this is you know right state of mind so and with lots of experience like me to deal with your application when it now comes to immigration complexity. It's very very difficult. B minus A. What is B? Minus there is something that is telling me. Mm -hmm. I want to it's look at the at the issue here. You know, both parents are not encouraged anyway to make an application at the same time. And if you want to make an application, you have to be looking at the Zabrano case law under the Belgium law for you to make application under your child. So both parents are not encouraged. Ma, my wife has two and a half years visa. My ooh, questions are now trooping in seriously now. Yeah. Okay. Questions are trooping in heavily now. So we're not. Is my, my wife has two and a half years visa. My, so my child has British passport, but not in my son name. What can I apply for? If that child is two your child and has British two. passport, you have to go and do DNA first. What and how did your child acquire right? British passport? So you have to be careful in that area. Not, you have to treat carefully. How did your child acquire British passport? Was so you need to treat carefully in that area. Would be this and this. You know, so. So. Would be two. Right. Eight over seven plus eight over nine. Hello, my. I once lived in UK before I plus I was arrested in 2011 one. and I was convenient from I was convenient for money laundry. Oh, you were charged for money laundry and deported back to Nigeria in 2014. So, yeah, so you just want to know how can I come back and I have a British girlfriend? A British girlfriend is not a British partner wife. So British girl girlfriends, first and foremost, invite her down to Nigeria so that you can live together for some time. And then you can then make an application. Then you can get married before you can make an application. That British girlfriend must be working. If she's not working, you're not going to go far with the application, given the fact that you were initially convicted on a criminal case. So you have to be careful. If you have been previously convicted on a criminal matter, if I were you, I would wait three years. 2011, deported back to Nigeria in 2014, you have to wait three years on a family matter. And it's, it hasn't become a family application now because the girlfriend is not a wife. So you need to get the girlfriend into Nigeria to, to, to get married. To live together, do a marriage, um, get married, and then you can make application. The, the girlfriend has to be working and earn 18,600. Like I said last time before I leave you guys in a safe hand, 
Crazy Call me. office on Monday book appointment on 0208-309-8808 0208-309-8808 I had a very Area long day last night so there is no way I can take phone call after this exactly. I will always try as much as possible Why? to come online in the event I can't take phone call I will be answering questions back online so there will be times that I will not take phone calls Why? but I will be typing back and take questions exactly. immediately online so I want you to bear that in mind I will continue Estimate. to do what I know to do best in order to assist you, the Nigerians in the diaspora, so that uh, it's part of my system, part of my life, human rights. You know, okay. as a human rights lawyer, I will continue to advise you. But you know, easy. It is not easy for anyone to just come out if you don't, if you are not confident enough and have good experience. You can't just come out here and come and come and say trash things. They will trash you out. But I am grateful for the wisdom and knowledge God has given me to do this, you know. So I want to leave you in a safe hand now. And then if you have any question, type it on my uh, uh, official page. I will respond back, but I need to rest now. Thank you. Thank you. The network so is now is being line. funny. I so I want to leave you in a safe hand. Type your question and I will respond back. Each one. God bless you all. Thank you for all your support. Is all of you that are online. Yeah. You are wonderful. See? You are the best. I will continue so to appreciate you and I will continue to comment all the time when you ask questions. I will respond we, back. When it, when it comes like this, we over God holds everything. God gives me the wisdom and knowledge. Will. So there is no any danger in me to share it with you. I am like not this. proud. I am not a proud person. For those who have met with me last night at the um, occasion, they know that I What do we do? I am we not proud. You need anything, ask questions. Yeah. I so continue to appreciate estimate. you. You are all wonderful. Thank operation. you for all your support. Bless you all. Bless you. you Bless you. You are all beautiful and handsome. So, so I want I want to appreciate you. I want to recognize you. I want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm um, sorry, I have to leave now because my 16 year old is having his um, A level tutor in the in the in the in the dining here. So we are disturbing. So I have to go now. My A level son is having his um, Saturday class. <laughs> it's my last son, so I have to respect him because he will come and complain on my head afterwards. So thank you all. It's my last child, so I have to respect him. You know, they always get away with things. We try to get away with everything, last born. So thank you all, fantastic people, fantastic. But as a mother, I have to go now, to go and do my household thing. Thanks a lot. Goodbye. God bless you all. The telephone number in the office is 0208-309-8808. 0208-309-8808. Fantastic people, thank you all. And thank you for last night, everybody. Thank you for all your love. Fantastic. Thank you. Well done to the promoters. Bye for now.